We're gonna do a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> Let's see who does it better. Let's start out and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to do this seascape with me. And let's go Titanium and white. Just a little bit while you're doing that. I started with a good old standard 18 by 24 inch canvas, but I've done something a little something bit different blue. today. The top part of the canvas Perusian is totally blue. covered with a thin, even coat of liquid white. All the liquid way down. white. You can see this little line here. Midnight now black. From here down is covered with liquid clear. Liquid this clear? Is like liquid white. I'll have liquid clear. <laughs> so let's go and do a fantastic little seascape. Whoa, 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 Bob. Whoa, Bob. I gotta get some light in here. Make sure your canvas is nice and wet. Oh. That's about accurate. No, it don't. Bob says to make sure that your painting is moist. <laughs> Don't say that. It's moist. All right, Bob, my painting is moist. <laughs> Start out with a two inch brush. Two inch small, brush. Small, small amount of the cad yellow. Very cad small. Cad yellow. Amount. Just beat it into the bristles a little bit. Let's go up here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to beat it into the bristles a little bit. Hold on, Bob. Uh, how about? Camden yellow, deep hue. Bob, what do now? Now then, maybe we'll have a beautiful, bright little sky today. So I'm just gonna start with a little yellow. Still using a little crisscross strokes. We'll just bring that right around, sort of like so. There we well, go. Like a little happens to get down here. You're... Bob, yellow hokra. I'm going to take a little bit of this beautiful red color. Oh. Just like so. Just like so. Isn't that pretty? Bob. Oh, there you we have a, we have a. Bob didn't tell me to do it, but I know he does it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much pain on that. All right. Let Bob, white. Very bright, so I'm going to take white and put it right there. White? Straight titanium white. Now it won't show up much because light against light is nothing, but you just wait. Now I'm going to grab it and pull it. Just pull. Look at that. I'm pulling, Bob. That looks purple, there. Bob. There he is. See? There he is. Who is he? Where'd he go? Cotton Eye Joe? See how easy it is to make all kinds of beautiful little cloud shapes? Right. All you need is just the corner of the brush. Here, we'll put another little cloud that lives right there. There we go. Oh, In your world, you decide where the clouds live. Oh, well, they don't live there. Okay. Or as you lay it out here, I'm using that dark color with me. It's a very dark lavender color. Now see if we if we had used liquid white here, when we put this on, it would pick up the Oops. white, and you would lose this beautiful, beautiful dark color shoreline maybe it'll come oh like it something like it that just helps give you a little bit of sort of a layout and it'll really save you a lot of trouble out of the wave that's the part of the wave if you're into selling paintings that's the part of the, the wave that sells that's what everybody wants to see it's that big it's a big crasher we'll come right in here mm. Just sort of follow this guy. All we're doing here is putting in some dark color so our light will show later on. You can add all kinds of colors. A lot of times, they little green is very pretty in seascapes. Ooh, it is dynamite color. Beautiful color. But it's very strong. Be careful with it. See, already we have all of our dark areas blocked in. So you're using a big old two inch brush. All right, now we can begin putting in some of the good stuff. I'll just start with just plain old titanium white. Bring it right around the base of this little, little foot line back here. Now then, let's have some fun. Let's go like right in here. Watch here, grab it. And just come right up like 
Okay. Uh-oh, what have we done now? Okay, maybe there's another one right here. And back. And let's go right along here. Okay, good. This, this painting, it'll teach you to be an expert brush washer. Will it? Bob? Let's go back into our blue and crimson. Blue and crimson. This is it. All we're doing here is scrubbing in some color. And the light would come right along the top of this wave because the water's thinner here. Okay. Just like so. Maybe there's a touch even right over in here. Just a little bit right in there. Angle up here. Now, I beat the brush just to remove excess paint. So it doesn't matter if a little of that color goes up in there. That light, the light area will remain. Just grab it and pull. Okay. I have a little filbert brush here. We'll use some of this lavender color that we have. Same old lavender color. Put a touch of white in it. There we go. Load a lot of paint into the bristles. Just to really fill the center of the gun up. Okay, now then. Sort of hold the brush here. Give it a little upward push. And it's that upward push. That's where the splash happens. And when you begin running out of paint, turn it over and use the other side of the brush. Hold a little line right in there. Like so. Paint thinner with some of the light blue. And we can just put the indication of a little, a little water playing all down there on the beach. Yeah, when I get to old brush going, I'll just take it right into some brown. All right, you do that. Let's have maybe just some <laughs> sand right here. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. This is just brown. A little touch of that was left. Right, don't forget. A little bit of sand on the beach. Put the least little touch of some highlights on here. Like so. The old clock on the wall is telling me I got to stop for today. Bob's painting. <laughs> Painting. Did you see my Bob Ross painting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs>